Tablet Listen to this idiot. Let's listen to this 26-year-old idiot. There's, there's something wrong with you. Let's I be honest. Use my phone. There's something wrong with you, isn't Whatever. there? Mentally. Dear Spider, mind your business. If you have no dog in this fight... Mind your business. You didn't have a dog in the fight, you idiot. This had nothing to do with you. It had to do with Mom, Beth, and Randy. Nothing to do it with you. I don't get involved in other people's fights. I hosted that stream because I saw that you posted somebody's, what I would consider to be private, voicemails that were meant for you, not meant for distribution. As for your comment about, oh, I've done so many vile things, name one. Name one vile thing, Mr. Felon, because there really isn't anything, is there? It's a load of petty BS you're talking about. I've never done anything vile. You couldn't name one because you love to hear rumors and lies by, by your little posse of middle-aged women. Mind your business, because... This 26-year-old punk is telling me what to do. At the end of the day, me putting out voicemails is nothing compared to the vile shit that you do. Yeah, well, unless you're going to tell me what the vile shit is, because there isn't any, that's a, a pretty broad statement to make when you don't even know me. And I've done. Yeah. All right. That, I don't care I, how you try to justify it. I don't want to hear Oh, it. really? How do you justify what you did? You are a rat fink, a narc. That's what you are. I guess you wouldn't do that to any of your gang member friends, would you? You'd cover up for your gang member friends, wouldn't you? Now, this is what I heard. I heard you're broke, she's broke, she's unemployed, you're on food stamps, you refuse to work, and she was helping you out. That's what I heard. I don't know if this is the truth. That's just what I heard. I think when you bite the hand that feeds you, yeah, you're stupid. Not the moral, you're not the moral authority on YouTube. Well, I'm a little bit more moral than you are. It's if called you want to confront It's me. called common decency, which you know nothing about, jailbird. You know nothing about. You've you've um, spent the past what six months bragging about being in jail, tough guy. You're nothing but a little weedy squirt. Well, let's be honest. You're a little weedy. You look like a nerd. You're a little weedy squirt. Nobody would be afraid of you in a dark alley. Nobody cares about your gang connections. It's completely laughable. You have a big mouth. You never shut it up. People are in gangs are going around on YouTube bragging about it. Though, the couple of times I mentioned you on a couple of panels, and that's what you should have messaged me about, not about MBW. Uh, I message you to give you an explanation since you did two streams and didn't didn't invite me to either one of them where you're d discussing me within it. I did it privately because I'm not like you. I don't need to run to the internet. I did it privately, but again, I knew that you would do this. I knew it. You're not to be trusted, and anyone who's listening to this has to realize this guy, no matter what you send him a DM, a voicemail, a text, he's going to expose you. See, I don't care. But it proved my point. This dude is not to be trusted. He is a rat. All right, you're not even a friend. So. Exactly. Again. Exactly. That was the whole point. Beth and I were not friends. That's the whole point. You were her friend, not me. I only hosted the stream. We both discussed it. We did it for views. She was going to give her side of the story, and I was going to say my opinion and what I thought about the um, uh, posting of the voices. Because you're her personal friend, that should have been private. What was your, why were you really trying to uh, message me? To trigger me? Uh, dude, you don't have a thought in my head. Why do I need to trigger you? You're not relevant. I don't need to care to trigger you. Are you kidding? No. You really not, think you're work. you really think you're hot shit, don't you? I mean, you really do. Don't care. Would you wanted me to say something that you could use against me? I don't care. No. Uh, like what? You're just a snotty twenty-six-year-old kid living with a woman old enough, probably older than your mother, 
or you're living off of, may I remind you, until you find something better. So come on. Come on, dude. I'm not stupid enough. No, you're right? pretty stupid. And besides, Anyone who is your age and has already spent two years in jail, yeah, you're an idiot. I have nothing to hide. Okay? I put those voicemails out because I wanted to show that she was lying to me behind the scenes. All right? That I knew nothing about Dude, it. you're a felon. You're a felon. And your butt hurt because somebody lied to you. <laughs> somebody lied to you. Jesus Christ. You're a criminal. You're a gang member. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. What a friggin' crybaby you are. Somebody lied to me. I'm going to expose them because they're a liar. You're a friggin' felon. She didn't commit a crime. She lied and apologized afterwards. You committed a crime, and you're a felon. <laughs> yes, you cannot make this stuff up. And the fact that she was lying about somebody else. Oh, he's so stupid, and the fact right? That she was trying to manipulate me into it. Believing her lie. All right? It's, you, like, you've done worse. I can't... I, no, I, I, you have what are you t- I've done worse, yeah? Like what? What have I done? You name one thing. I'm going to give you till tomorrow. Well, no. Take all the time you want. I really don't give a crap. I have done nothing. So I don't know what you're talking about. I've done worse. I've done What? What's worse, beat up some woman and steal her purse and get two years in jail? Nah, I didn't. So I haven't done worse, you complete utter punk. <laughs> I mean, really, I've done worse? <laughs> I got kids your age, they've never been arrested or in trouble or in jail or robbed anybody or beat up anybody or in a gang. They don't have tattoos or even piercings, so don't even go there. I don't know what else to tell you, Linda. But don't come in my DMs bothering me about something that has nothing to even do with... Bothering you? Dude. Bothering... You don't even have a job. It's not like you're busy. You're such a pathetic loser. You spend all this time on YouTube talking to middle-aged women and fighting with middle-aged women. Hey, listen, I'm off work for another two weeks recovering from my surgery. You have a reason to be bored and hanging out on YouTube. At least I hang around with people my own age. I mean, this is just creepy. All right, and you want to say that, you know, I'm dark and sick or whatever for... Or whatever. I didn't say anything about dark and sick. Go back and read the DMs. Didn't say anywhere where you were dark and sick. Those words never used. I called you a narc. Uh, I'm looking at the DMs right now. There was no insult of dark and sick. Uh, Nothing. As a matter of fact, you were insulting me from the very beginning. Okay? I love when, when people on YouTube cannot get the story right. Twist it around to make it sound like something you never said. Those words were never said. Voicemails of somebody who was quote unquote what you think intoxicated? No, I well, actually in in your chats, unless I'm blocked, I said she was incapacitated. She was calling you privately. She was incapacitated. She agreed to come on my panel. She was perfectly fine but in those audios she was incapacitated whether she was intoxicated or whatever the words i wrote i do remember saying she was um incapacitated in in a chat in your comment section of the video big difference we're taking a vulnerable a vulnerable person where you didn't have her consent to post those where she gave me consent to come on my panel. A little bit different, but you wouldn't know the difference because you don't have common decency, do you? None. According to you, she was intoxicated on your panel. Okay, not according to me. When did I say she was intoxicated on my panel? Not what I said. I said in the call to you, 
nothing to do with her being on my panel. You see how you are not smart enough to actually read? Okay, and you had her on there for views, and you told me you got, what, 3,000 views? Correct, a little more than 3,000. That's correct. 3,000 views to have an intoxicated woman on panel. Uh, Who said she was intoxicated? I didn't say she was intoxicated. Those are your words. That's your narrative you're trying to spin. Nothing said. I'm looking at the DMs right now. Nothing said about that. Not intoxicated on my panel. No. Incapacitated in those voicemails. So, good try with that. Maybe you should smoke a little bit more weed just to kill a few more brain cells. You might as well. There's nothing going on in that head. It's like two marbles in a tin can. Clunkety clunk, 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 clunk. Yeah, you're a really great life ahead of you. You must be real proud of yourself. Who's really the darkest? I don't know. How proud is your parents of you, you criminal? I am proud. All right, that's all. I am proud. I'm proud that my daughters didn't turn out like you. I mean, get a life, dude. Stop sponging off some middle-aged woman. You're such a loser. You know, all your friends over there, everybody's kissing your ass because you're dumping uh, Mama Beth. They all hated you before. You were a punk. You were an asshole. They did panels about you. They don't like you, dude. They're not coming to be your friend. They're just doing this because they're trying to get as many people to hate Mama Beth. You see, this was a private DM between him and I, but he decided to to take it public. So, yeah, I'll take it public. You're a punk. You're nothing but a punk, and I feel sorry for BKK. Because you know why I feel sorry for BKK? Because you're not going to be hanging around a long time. I mean, she's almost 50, and you're, what, 26? Yeah, how long do you think that's going to last? Come on. It's it's a joke at this point. It's great you're having some fun, but it's not a real situation. You guys are not going to get married and have kids. You, she's way too old for you. And um, you're a loser. I mean, you really are a loser. I mean, get off your ass and get a job sitting around smoking weed all day in women's business.